I find that some of the most fun things to build in KSP are stock weapons. They require quite a bit of creativity, and there's nothing quite like blowing up some buildings in a kid-friendly space game. While KSP doesn't have anything explicitly labeled as a weapon, it has plenty of things that can be turned into weapons, or at least can be used to represent weapons. So, that leads us to this, a fighter plane. Everybody has seen KSP fighter planes, but this one uses a lot of different techniques to create realistic and semi-functional armaments. It has a quite a few bells and whistles, so let's go over them. But before we do that, please like and subscribe. I only have a few hundred subscribers, so it would really help out if you did. The plane has four unguided rockets, launched in groups of two, a single guided missile, and two cluster bombs, with 24 submunitions per cluster bomb. It also has a gun made of cow overclocked fireworks, and flares also made of fireworks. The plane itself is powered by two Panther engines. The flight performance is admittedly not great, due to all the weapons attached to the plane, but after firing some of the weapons and burning some fuel, it performs significantly better. Now, onto the specifics of these weapons. The rockets are very simple. They are I-beams mounted onto a decoupler, with eight separatrons mounted on the back of the I-beam, and an unopened Communitron 8888 placed in the front for aesthetics. The separatrons are all tilted slightly to spin stabilize the rocket as it flies, and in theory this increases the stability of the rocket. In practice, actually hitting things with it is still quite a challenge. Now, the missile. Some of you may be wondering how I got the missile to guide itself, but it's actually quite simple. You see, the missile knows where it is at all times. It knows this because it knows where it isn't. Okay, now that I've used a meme that's been dead for years, it's time to discuss how the missile actually works. You may have tried to make a missile in KSP before, and when you launched the missile, the missile lost its target tracking. The solution to this is to build a plane around the missile, by making one of the missile's parts the root part. This way, the game recognizes the missile as being the upper stage of the vehicle, and the missile keeps its target tracking when it is launched. Sadly, this means you can only have one missile per plane, but the missile is basically fire and forget. All you have to do after firing is switch back to the plane and you're good. Next, the bombs. The plane has two bombs, which are launched at the same time. The bombs are controlled by Cal 1000 controllers. After the bombs are dropped, they are spun to high speeds by their angle fins. After 3 seconds of spinning, the 24 decouplers attached to each bomb are decoupled, creating in total 50 pieces of debris, 2 bomb bodies, and 48 submunitions. The gun is simply a bunch of firework launchers strapped together, with the launch velocity Cal overclocked. The gun fires 2 rounds every 0.3 seconds, giving it a fire rate of 400 rounds per minute. Two separatrons with the fuel removed are mounted at the front of the craft to make little gun barrels. The flares are attached to the underbelly of the craft, and they aren't really anything special. They are simply red fireworks. That's all the weapons on this plane. Now let's put them to good use. <laughs> That's all. If you made it this far, please like and subscribe. Goodbye.